Hello, this is Dr. Grande. Welcome to my video on performing an ANOVA with a Chef A post hoc test in SPSS. Taking a look at these fictitious data I have loaded in the data view in SPSS, they are configured for ANOVA. I have an independent variable. In this case, it has three levels, REBT, psychodynamic, and waiting list. And then I have a dependent variable, anxiety. And let's assume that a higher score in this anxiety variable indicates a higher frequency of anxiety symptoms. Now you can see by looking at the data that the REBT group is the largest group and the psychodynamic and waiting list groups are both quite a bit smaller. So we have unequal group sizes in these data. And this would be a typical situation where the Chefe test would be used because it's appropriate when you have unequal group sizes. The Chefe test is a conservative test. It has a lower probability of a type 1 error as compared to other post hoc tests, but it also has an increased probability of a type 2 error and less statistical power that is less of an ability to detect a difference that's truly there. So before I conduct this ANOVA with the Chef A post hoc test, I want to make sure I meet the assumptions for ANOVA. We have a categorical independent variable that has three categories, and ANOVA requires two or more categories, so we're set there. And we need a continuous dependent variable, and we have that, the anxiety variable. ANOVA assumes independence of observations, no outliers, a normally distributed dependent variable, and homogeneity of variance. So first I'll test for outliers and the normal distribution of the dependent variable. So go to Analyze, Descriptive Statistics, Explore, move anxiety over to the dependent list list box, and under Plots, I'm going to check off uh, histogram and uncheck stem and leaf, and then check off normality plots with tests. Click continue, and make no other changes, then click OK. So I'm going to interpret the Shapiro-Wilk to test for normality, and the value is, the p-value is 0.241, it's not statistically significant. So we're going to assume that the anxiety variable is normally distributed. And then if we move down to the box plot, which is the last graph in the output, we can see there are no outliers. There are no values indicated below the bottom whisker or above the top whisker of the box plot. Homogeneity of variance will be tested as part of the ANOVA procedure by Levine's test, which is incorporated into that procedure in SPSS. So I'm going to go to Analyze and General Linear Model univariate. Our dependent variable here is anxiety. The fixed factor or independent variable here is program. Then I'm going to go to post hoc and move the program factor over to post hoc test 4. And you can see that the Chef A test is here under equal variances assumed. So in order to interpret the results of the Chef A test, we need to have equal variances. And we'll, of course, we'll check for that with Levine's test, as I mentioned. So I'm going to check off Chefe and click Continue. And under Options, I'm going to move overall to under uh, Display Means 4. And then add Descriptive Statistics, Estimates of Effect Size, and Homogeneity Test. Click Continue, and then OK to conduct the ANOVA. So we can see here, uh, we, we knew we had unequal sample sizes. We can see the numbers here. REBT, there was 23 observations in that group, but only 11 for psychodynamic and waiting list. Checking for homogeneity of variance, we interpret Levine's test. We can see it's a non-statistically significant result. 0 0.109 is greater than 0 0.05. So we're going to assume that we have homogeneity of variance. Looking at the test of between subjects' effects, 
uh, we're most interested here in program and we can see that the p-value is 0 0.008 it's below 0 0.05 we reject the null hypothesis that there is no difference between the groups and then moving down to post hoc tests we can see we have the results of the Sheffe test and it's under multiple comparisons here and you can see indicates Sheffe here below the dependent variable anxiety so first if we look at REBT and compare that to psychodynamic we see we have a non statistically significant result 0.199 so we're going to assume there's no difference between those groups. Then looking at RABT compared to the waiting list, we have 0 0.011. That is below 0 0.05. That's a statistically significant finding. So we assume that there is a difference between RABT and the waiting list. And then the last comparison would be between psychodynamic and waiting list. And you can see here 0.521 that's a non-statistically significant finding. I hope you found this video on performing an ANOVA with the Chef A post hoc test to be useful. As always, if you have any questions or concerns, feel free to contact me and I'll be happy to assist you.